Welcome to JG Spike Talk, sponsored by Riches Boxing and Limitless Creations. And you are with me for the fight between Michael Conlon versus TJ Doheny. And they're at the centre of the ring, ready to go with the coaches. Hello, Adam Booth. Um, but before we get into it, we're going to have some... Are you ready? So welcome to the live watch along between Conlon versus Doheny. And we're into round one. Here we go. So Doheny taking centre of the ring. Um, Michael Conlon boxing in the green and burgundy with white stripes. And Doheny in the white shorts. And yeah, like Ty said, let's go. Thanks for tuning in, Ty. And yeah, Dahini just taking centre of the ring at the moment. Both trying to figure each other out with the jabs. You alright? Um, it's alright, my son's very... Bless him. Very well. Um, interesting. <laughs> so both in the southpaw stance. And uh, yeah, both just trying to figure out each other early on. Let's say live from Belfast. I'm not, but they are. But yeah, just good jab there by Dahini. Good jab by Conlon. I think it's going to be one of those fights where it's sort of back and forth all the time. A good uh, right hand there, but then he just missed there, Conlon. Good combination there by Dahini. Uh, Ty, really disappointed. This wasn't one of the MTK shows on YouTube, but oh well. Yeah, I, I think they just went for it, mate. If they can make a bit of money out of it, I think it's six pound on Fight TV. Um, so yeah, that's 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 what they went with in the end. And obviously, it's top rank ESPN Plus, I think, in the states. So, hello, Tommy. Um, yeah, so first round, just coming up to a win, uh, minute to go of round one. Let's say the two of them just trying to figure each other out at the moment. Good head movement there. Morgan Lee show fight. I can't show the fight due to the uh, copyright, unfortunately, but it is, uh, if you go onto Fight TV, it's £6. But if not, stay with me and I'll guide you through. But just coming up to uh, 30 seconds left of round one. The two of them are just trading well with each other. Um, no one's taking a backward step, really. Both standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Good double jab there by Dahini. Conlon with a good head movement. Just trying to work that space. Good shot there by Dahini again. Morgan Lee, put a mirror in front of you. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. Otherwise, I'd just take the YouTube channel down. But it'll probably be on YouTube in a couple of days' time. But, um, yeah. <laughs> um, that's an interesting idea, though. But, yeah, end of round one. So, if you're watching it, let me know how you're seeing it. Uh, stick it in the comments. Let me know the predictions of who you think's going to win, how they're going to win. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments and I'll stick it up on the screen. Um, yeah, until, until we have some of that, we're going to have a little bit of this. Welcome to Fight Zone. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the sweet taste of victory. Join the revolution. Why do you keep fucking tell me to stop? Let's say Fight Zone goes live tomorrow, $4.99 a month. When you sign up, type in the affiliate code JG's Fight Talk in capital letters and just let them know that I've sent you over to them. And uh, yeah, we're back into round two. Uh, Conlon versus Dahini. And uh, yeah, bit of the same from the first round, really. 
both still very cautious. Good right jab there by Conlon. A um, couple of jabs to the body, one to the head. Um, Ty's come in. Thanks for your comment, Ty. Conlon decision, but it will be close, I think. Only by two or three rounds. Um, who did you give the first round to, Ty? Um, personally, it's a tough one, really. I think I think Conlon was more the active fighter. I think he was getting more involved. Um, so, yeah, I give the first round to Conlon. Let me know how you're seeing it, people. And I'll uh, stick it up in the comments. So, yeah, two minutes to go round two. Good jab to the body and then a hook to the head by Conlon. Tahini moving his head around, just trying to work that space. Two jabs there, but but missed by Tahini. Both fighters really up for this one, though. There's a lot on the line. Um, as we were saying, it's for the uh, WBA Interim World Featherweight title. Um, Ty, based off your commentary, Conlon, haven't got Fire TV, just got to zone, can't wait for Galahad Dickens. Yeah, doing the live watch along for that tomorrow, absolutely buzzing for that one. It's going to be a great fight camp tomorrow. Um, as I say, I'll be doing quite a lot on that one tomorrow, so tune in. JG's Fight Talk, if you're with us for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, there's plenty, plenty of stuff coming over the weekend, so make sure you tune in. And as I say, hit that subscribe button and then, you know, you're definitely going to get the content. So, ref's just warning uh, Dahini there just to keep his head up. Um, Al, yeah, thanks for tuning in, Al. Relying on you tonight, Joel. Not got fight on. Um, I'll do my best, mate. Thanks for tuning in. So, the two of them just stand in centre of the ring at the moment. Big wild swing there by Dahini with his left missing. Um, Conlon just taking his time, working his way in. Jabs to the body. And, uh, yeah, a bit of blood coming from Conlon's nose now. Um, but, yeah, left eye looking a bit tender for Dahini. But there we go. Uh, Jamie Wallace, is there any way you can watch it for free? I don't know, mate, to be honest. Um, I, I don't know. All I know is it's on Fight TV for £6. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know, mate. Um, Southport to mix. Um, detriment, as I said in the quick predict, cagey start, but I think Dahini is the sharper better man thus far thanks for tuning in luke directly from the pub in belfast um shout out to your girlfriend i hope she's feeling better and uh barry wins easy tomorrow miss boxing fan thanks for tuning in haven't seen you for a while hope you're okay let me know in the comments and um yeah what are you making of this fight so far um are you Looking forward to the fights tomorrow. Let me know what fights you're looking forward to. Some good stuff coming up. So, second round I gave to Dahini. So, one round each at the moment. Gone into round three now. Conlon likes to use that jab to the body a lot. Um, yeah, sticking to the body. But Dahini... Just trying to be as sort of compact as he can. Keeps that guard down to try and entice him in. But other than that, it's, you know, it's that seems to be the way of the fight at the moment. Um, any low bows from Conlon yet? Um, not yet. Not yet. I know the ref has uh, had a word with Dahini. I think the head was going too low. So they were, you know, he was having a word on that. But Conlon, as I say, he does throw that jab low, but it seems to be on the belt line. 
So, yeah, that, that obviously counts. So, anything other than that. But they're big exchanges in the corner at the moment. Um, Tahini's got Conlon on the ropes and he's really going for it. So the ref's in there separating them. But yeah, back to the center of the ring again. And off they go again. So Tahini just getting a Conlon in a headlock, as you do. But the ref's just having a word. He's put their heads together and he's saying, look, let's just keep this going. Let's keep it clean. You know, the two of them just kind of getting a bit scrappy in round three here. Um, just coming up to a minute to go. But, yeah, Conlon sticking behind the jab well in this round. Um, Dahini hasn't really been up to too much in this one. A couple of combinations, but Conlon's just matched it with his own combinations. So, big shots to the body there by Conlon. But they're getting into a bit of a dogfight in round three here. Conlon, good left hand there. But Dahini doing the same, sticking his head in. The ref just separates and has a quick word again. But, blimey, yeah. It's all happening in this one. We've had a bit of everything. But as I say, it's, it's, it's the jab of Conlon that seems to be doing the trick in round three here. Um, and Tahini just missing wildly there with the left hand. Good right hand there by Conlon. Good right hook. Stepped in, got the right hand. Dahini sort of just sort of followed past. So um, there we go, end of round three. Let me know in the comments how you're seeing it at home uh, or wherever you're watching it, Luke, if you're in a pub. Um, and yeah, keep me up to date with how you're seeing it. Lingardinio, how you doing? It's good to see you, mate. Hope everything's well. Um, all good this end. Thanks, thanks for tuning in as always, mate. Um, yeah, as I say, you are tuning in for Michael Conlon versus TJ uh, Dahini for the WBA Interim World Featherweight title. Michael Conlon, 15 fights, 15 wins, 8 knockouts. Um, Dahini, 24 fights, 22 wins, 16 knockouts. And they're at Falls Park in Belfast. So it's been a good card so far. Um, and this, yeah, is, is doing all right, this fight. It's doing all right. So the ref's having a quick word before they start. And off we go again. JJ, has it started yet? It's, it's in round four, just beginning of round four. Um, and, yeah, to be fair, I've got um, Conlon up. Uh, two rounds to one at the moment. Um, yeah, that's that seems to be the way it's going. He's dictating with a jab to the body. Um, had some good combinations in that third round. Dahini, a few combinations of his own, but not as effective. So I gave a round to Codman. But um, yeah, we're in round four now. No worries. Cheers. Thank you. As I say, if you're with us for the first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel, JG's Fight Talk on YouTube. And um, when we're not doing live watch-alongs, we're doing the interviews and all different types of things, prediction shows and much more. So, yeah, give it a subscribe and, um, yeah, stay, stay in touch with the channel. But just while we were chatting there, Tahini had a good little flurry, had Conlon on the ropes, but nothing too much didn't seem too bothered by it but yeah it's an interesting fight it's going to be a close one I think but Dahini definitely having the bet in round four here um, thanks for tuning in mate uh, Conlon to win on points love him but hardly a title challenger
Um, Lingardino, good to hear, mate. Unfortunately, can't see the fight as I'm out, so just listening to you, mate. So thank you. Uh, no problem at all, mate. This is what my Friday nights consist of now. It's either that or reruns of Homes Under the Hammer or Escape to the Country. So it's good to have the boxing on a Friday, to be honest. But um, yeah, back to the fight anyway. 50 seconds to go. Good combination there by Conlon. Dahini does need to do a bit more in this fight. He's gone a bit quiet in round four here. Conlon just going back to that jab to the body. They're in the clinch, putting some right old big shots in the clinch there, throwing some big old uppercuts. But Conlon back on the ropes, dodging the punch as well. Really good movement. God, what a right hand. Dahini stumbled there. And Conlon got right in his face to say, have some of that. So there we go. End of round four. Definitely a Conlon round. Really starting to build momentum now. Going into the fifth round. Uh, Lingardino, who do you want to win this? <sighs> who do I want to win it? Um, I like Conlon. Sometimes he can be a bit lazy in the way that he, he comes across or he feels he's doing enough and then all of a sudden he tends to switch off a bit. But I think if he if he put it all together, you know, I, it would be good to it'd be good to see him win. But I just want to see a good fight to be honest, mate. That's that's what it comes down to for me. Um but yeah, it's one of those. They're just showing it again. Connor just gets right in the face of uh, Dahini. But um, here we go, round five. As I say, if you're watching this at home, let us know how you've got it. Al, how have you got it? Um, I've got it currently three rounds to one in favour of Conlon. How have you got it, Al? Let me know in the comments. Um Good combination there again by Conlon. Finished the last round well and he started up well in round five here. Um, Tahini seems a bit more hesitant to throw a punch to leave himself open. So it's a battle of the southpaws here. Hi, Kieran. Um, what channel is it on? It's on Fight TV. It's six pounds or six euros, wherever you are. Um, yeah, as I say, um, that's that's the only place that I've managed to uh, find it. But yeah, Fight TV. Give it a look, mate. Oh, Colin having a good flurry here. Good lefts and rights. Big right hand there. Dehini's face starting to mark up quite a bit now. Big body shot there. Two big body shots by Conlon. Working in the clincher again, the two of them. Uh, Lingardini, I, I want Dehini to win, but I know Conlon is a great boxer. Um, yeah, definitely, mate. Al, uh, love got however you have. Um, I ain't watching, mate. Oh, I have got whoever you <laughs> get your words right, mate. You've been drinking. Um, left hand by Conlon, really going for it now. Good shots here, and um, there's a count on the Heaney. I think he just slightly touched down. But here we go. Conlon comes back out. He's going for it again. Good body shots here. He's really going for it now. He's got Tahini on the ropes. He's going to have to reply something. Big right hand. Big right uppercut. But Conlon is really 
chopping at the stomach here. And he's really got Dahini reeling here. Conlon is really going for it. Can Tahini recover from this? Big right hand. He seems to have come back. Big right hand by Dahini. Really starting to pick up now. Great fight. End of the round. Bloody hell. Difficult one to call there. Um, let me know in the comments how you're seeing it. Um, blimey. Yeah, that all kicked off in that round. Really good round. Um, Conlon obviously will take that as a 10 8 due to the standing count. Um, I think he just touched down. Yeah, he took a knee. He took a knee. Um, so that obviously goes down as a count. Is he fighting back? Yeah, he did give a bit of a fight back, but I think the uh, the, the bell came at the right time for him there. Um, Luke. Uh, Dahini is a wily smart boxer, though. Great finish to the round. Good fight. Yeah, it's really going well, mate. Um, Carl, who do you think will win? Based on that last round, I thought Conlon probably looked the better fighter, but yeah. It's pronounced Doheny. So, yeah. honestly, mate, I knew I was going to get it wrong. I was going to upset someone. Um, thanks. No worries at all, Carl. Um, just forgive me. For my pronunciation, but um, I'll just end up calling him TJ. I think. Um, thanks for tuning in. Where are you watching it again? Um, it's on Fight TV for six pound. Um, so head over there and just yeah, chuck your money at it. It's round six though, so you'll just get you'll catch the last half of the fight if it goes that far. So. Uh, sounds like Conlon is just breaking him down. He definitely was in round five. Really good round by Conlon. As I say, um, uh, TJ, let's go with that. Um, yeah, did come back with a flurry at the end, but it wasn't enough to win a round for me. I thought Conlon took the round. How many rounds gone, Joel? We're in round six now, mate. So, um, yeah, Conlon winning then. On my card, yeah, Lingardini, I've got him. Um, I've got him four to one. At the moment, I know other people will probably have it differently, but that's that's how I've seen it so far. He's worked better with the jab. He's had more success with the um, the counter punching, and um, yeah, just more punches. To be honest, um, how long do you reckon you'd last with Conlon in bed? <laughs> what a random one! <laughs> Hopefully, I won't be in there. Um, The ref's just having a word with Conlon. Obviously not in bed, in the ring. Well, he's having a word with both fighters. I think he's probably saying, look. He's uh, punching a bit low, I think, there. I, I bet all my money to Conlon. Well, I hope it works out for you. <clears throat> At the moment, it looks like it is. Um, Lingardinho. Now that was a great question. <laughs> Blimey, really going for it in the corner here. The two of them are really trading, just going for each other. Really big flurries. Um, the Heaney's got. Um, Conlon on the ropes and they're just throwing big shots at each other in the corner. Uh, JJ's put Conlon round 10. Um, Ty's come back and said Conlon gets warned at least once a fight for low blows. Should have bet on that. Yeah, it's probably a good bet, to be honest, mate. Um, thanks for the update, mate. No problem at all, Carl. As I say, if you're tuning in for the first time, make sure you head over to YouTube, hit the subscribe button on JJ's Fight Talk, stick a like on the video and, um, yeah, just stay with us. As I say, we've got this watch along today. 
um, looking at doing a watch along tomorrow morning. And then we've got Fight Camp on the zone, one ninety nine a month. Absolute steal at the moment. And um, yeah, we'll be doing that tomorrow night. So my wife is currently a boxing widow. So, but she loves it. Great comeback round for Dahini. Glad to see Conlon warned for those low blows too. Yeah, it's about time because he has been getting away with a few now. It's um, it's those low jabs to the body. He seems to just keep do keeps doing them, and he thought he was getting away with them. So, yeah, he's uh, been caught out there. I think on that one. But yeah, Luke, let me know how you're seeing it um, through your, your your pint glass eyes while you're in the pub. Um, what do you think of the upcoming Ukrainian? <laughs> nearly, nearly. You nearly caught me out on that one. Um, I think I'll do that and press, press the bell to be known when JG posts a video. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're watching Yafi in the morning. Yes, I am. I'll be up for that one. Um, good luck to him in the final tomorrow. Um, really buzzing for him. He's worked really hard and uh, he's just a quality boxer. I really like Yafi. Um, he's really bad for that. He should have been disqualified for low blow, same in the Cunningham fight. Yeah, he seems to, um, I don't know how he gets away with it so much when, when they know he's doing it. It's like a, something that just happens all the time. And so just coming up to two minutes left around seven here. Um, Dahini's definitely having a bet around here. Definitely having a bet around. Seems to be trying to get back into this fight a bit because Conlon nicked a lot of the early rounds. Um... JJ, they're all at it now. They're all trying to get me to say these names. It's all good fun. As I say, if you're tuning in for the first time, head over, make sure you subscribe on YouTube to JG's Fight Talk. Get me words out. Teeth are falling out. Um, but we're doing the live watch along for Conlon versus Tahini. Live on Fight TV. But Tahini having a, a better round here in round seven. But how many more times is a ref going to have to have a word? You know, because he seems to be getting in there, talking to both fighters and saying, look, let's just keep this clean. Let's just keep it going. Um, but, yeah, that seems to be seems to be the case in this fight. Sort of that really sort of slow, um, getting quite tired now. They put a lot of energy into those first six rounds. Round seven has been a bit sloppier, but Tahini's probably nicked it for me um, so far. 45 seconds left. Conlon now gone orthodox and um, now, you know, leading with that left hand. Now it's gone back to southpaw again. So good switch in there. Um, how many rounds is there in this fight? 12 rounds. Uh, we're in round seven, 15 seconds to go, but there's 12 rounds overall. Thanks for tuning in, Daniel. As I say, if you're joining us for the first time, head over and subscribe. Um, but yeah. There we go. Round seven over with. I give that to Dahini. So I've got it um, four rounds to three in favour of Conlon. How have you got it, people? Let me know. Stick it in the comments. I'll stick it on the screen. Um, Conlon's nose bleeding quite a bit. Um, 
but nothing they can't sort out. Adam Booth just having a chat with him in the corner, basically saying, you know, let's not let's not uh, give this fight away. You know, we've had a good start. Let's not hand him opportunities to get back in it. Um, because Tahini has, has been finding opportunities and working the space to do it. So we'll see. We'll see how the how the fight goes on. As I say, we're heading into round eight. Just coming to the centre of the ring and here we go again. Both coming out in Southpaw stance. See how this round goes. Will Dahini manage to get another one under his belt and bring it a bit tighter? Condon working the jab well again. Um, yes, like I said earlier, I'm glad you agree, Ty. Condon just switching off again. Will Dahini just generally getting the upper hand now? To be fair, it's it, it, it's a bit of both, really. Conlon seems to really does some work and then really switches off. And um, Dahini's just taking advantage of it, but he's coming on a bit stronger now into this fight, which is good. Good to see a good competitive fight. Um, Carl, watch your YouTube. If you type in JG's Fight Talk, um, yeah, into YouTube, and that should come up with my channel. You'll see the blue logo in the corner, the one that's in the corner up there. Um, and yeah thanks for subscribing this is a title fight yeah it's for the wba interim world featherweight title so a lot on the line for the guys um good to see two irish fighters going for it i'm surprised adam booth lets him get away with it well yeah because he is good trainer adam Good right hand there by Conlon. Didn't connect properly. Sticking now going back to the jabs. Um, and now he's gone back to the orthodox style again. So he's just trying to work his way into this fight. Tahini went orthodox and switched back straight away. I think he realised that you know he's getting the successes in the southpaw. So no need to switch really at the moment. The eyes are starting to mark up quite a lot though on Tahini. Um, Conlon still using that jab going low with the jab um, Luke got it 67 to 66 Dahini on Twitter don't listen to Luke don't listen to him he don't know what he's talking about <laughs> but um, yeah ha how have you got it out I know I suppose you're only listening in but it's, it's difficult. Carl, big right hands here by Conlon. I think you've got about four or five right hands in there. Um, Carl, big right hands there. Tahini's trying to push the pace now. He saw that he um, sort of just made him stumble slightly. Um, and back to the corners again. Lingardini, I wish I could see it. I can, but um, no, <laughs> I'm not joking, mate. Are you, are you tuning in tomorrow, Lingardino, for the design fights? Let me know. Um, Ty, surely with the knockdown, Conlon must be narrowly ahead. Yeah, I think he is. Um, because Tahini really took that round. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's only ahead, really. Because Conlon got that knockdown, um, so he's ahead on points. But as I say, I'm probably going to have to agree with Luke, which is absurd, really. But yeah, I think he's got it spot on. He'll probably watch this later and then probably mad at me. Um, yeah, mate. What time? I think the fights start tomorrow. I think the first one's on Facebook. And then it goes to DAZN, I think, at 6 o'clock, um, which is Ebony Bridges versus Beck Connolly. So, should be a good watch. 
Uh, hi, Gail. Yeah, it's a great fight, isn't it? How how um, how are you scoring it? Let me know. Let me know in the comments how you're scoring it. Gail, she was on the other day. She did some uh, quick predict shows with me. Check them out on JG's Fight Talk when we finish this stream. And um, yeah, let let me know. Let me know what you think and leave your predictions in the comments for those fights. But yeah, Gail's quality, she's got her own channel. Gail, let us know in the comments below um, what your what the name of your channel is and we can get that out there, get some more subscribers. We've got the cat in the background. There we go. He's watching the boxing as well. So, yeah, Dahini starting to work on the inside a lot more there. Conlon's still sticking at it. You know Nice cat. Yeah, thank you very much. Wild fight this. <clears throat> yeah, definitely, Baz. It's um it's it's definitely heating up in these later rounds now. As I say, how are you seeing it? Let me know. Um, I know you and Gail are watching it together and you never agree on anything. So <laughs> let me know how you're both seeing it. I don't want to punch up in your ass. Um, Al, yeah, the, the cat had to move. Um, she'll take the limelight. She'll probably get her own YouTube channel when she's a bit older. Um, she did have one that my son made called Princess Indy. Um, <laughs> it wasn't the most successful thing. Um, Lingardino, can the cat box? Um, yeah, she's got a good swipe, actually, to be honest. But anyway, enough about the cat. <laughs> Um, coming up to 1 minute 30 of Dahini versus Conlon, round 9 of 12. Um, yeah, let me know how you're seeing it at the moment. Interesting fight. Loving hearing the sound of the crowds. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's great, Baz. You know I can't listen to it. <laughs> That's really helpful, mate. Is the crowd really good? Are they really loud? <laughs> it's very thoughtful, Baz. Oh, I thought Conlon had the better of the exchanges in round nine there. Let me know in the comments how you're seeing it. As I say, if you're joining us for the first time, Hit the subscribe button. Um, Ryan, nice to see you, Ryan. Baz is rubbing it in. Yeah, as always, always does. And he's now come back to sound proper crowd noise, buddy. Thanks a lot, mate. Really good. Um, Ryan, don't encourage him. What score has Baz and Gail got? Uh, put it this way, it'll be Gail's score that's right because Baz is always wrong. Um you reckon they'll run this back at some point? Sounds like it's been a good fight. Yeah, Ty, it has been. Um, I think, yeah, it'll probably go on YouTube in a couple of days. They normally have to wait for it to cover because I know that Fight will probably have it for a couple of days after this one, um, after it's been live, and then you can generally watch it. They normally put it out somewhere. Um, who's winning now? Conlon for me. Who's the referee? I think, I think it's, I think it's Howard, isn't it? I think. Um, which always fills you with confidence. Gail is correct, whatever, whatever she says. Yeah, honestly, mate, she'll always be right. Don't worry, we'll have a last laugh when we're back at the football grounds this season. We'll see, just the tea boy. Um, I've got Conlon up. Howard Donald. So, yeah. Ian John Lewis, what a crook. Well, we won't get into all that. <laughs> Howard Foster. 
Howard Donald. Where did you get Howard Donald from? Um, he looks like more like Donald Duck with that face mask on, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking of the guy from Take That. Yeah, it's not quite the same person there, Go. So, yeah. In round 10. My fight TV is trying to load something else. I don't know what's going on. It's being a bit funny now. But we will get to the end at some point. Dahini definitely making Conor work for it. Yes, everyone's been saying how much of a good fight it was going to be. You know, and, and it's definitely living up to it. Definitely living up to it. But as I say, let me know in the comments how you are seeing it. But I'll tell you, the thing I've been really impressed with um, is Conan's head movement. He's he's def he's got great head movement. Um and positions his feet really well. But that's not just gonna win you the fights alone. If you're gonna be lazy between rounds, then you are gonna get caught. Half of the board is a little dodgy to say the least, but I like this channel, so I won't say any more in case they get pissed at this. Yeah, it'd be tired that they come after, not me. Um, now, sounds a close fight. It is. It, it's starting to get very close now, and movement is key. It is key. Um, but the problem is, it's great having all the head movement and, and the good footwork, but then sort of just taking a step back and being a bit more casual won't... won't uh, won't do you many favours. Like Ryan said, smash them likes up. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, Ryan. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're tuning in for the first time to watch JG's Fight Talk. Thank you very much for everyone that has tuned in so far. Um, you need the power too. Yeah, you push off that back foot and really use your power in the punches, um, which Dahini seems to be doing a lot better in this fight. He's caught Conlon a couple of times. Conlon seems to catch him more with the speed. Um, depends what you like as a judge. I guess some judges do like the flashy movements. Yeah, each judge looks for different stuff. Dahini here now going, really going for it. He's got Conlon on the ropes. See, to me, it's it's a really tough one to call this. Really tough one to call. So, just under a minute to go around 11. The two of them are really going out. Another low blow by Conlon. The rest keeping an eye, though. Um, good body shot by Conlon there, though. But the ref's had, he, he's had his work cut out, to be fair. Um, like Baz said, Conlon under pressure. Yeah, he's he's starting to feel it, I think. I think it's going to be a test of the old engine here. How can he keep it going? Um, do you think Joshua Fury will happen this year? No, not this year. No. You know, you you got to think Joshua's fighting in September. Fury's fighting in... October, and that's the fact that both of them win as well. They've both got to come through those tests. Um, Dahini likes to fight in the pocket. Conlon needs to try and control the distance. Yeah, he's better be on a jab. He works the jab well when he's not hitting you in the nuts, basically. Um, Jamie Wallace heard some other live stream talking about how he was getting pummeled. Um, 
who who are you talking about there, Jamie? Um, thing is, everyone's going to see the fight differently as well, but it's it's got a hell of a lot closer in these later rounds. This is why I like Tyson Fury because he seems to have a good balance of skills um, that you need as a modern boxer. Blimey, Ryan. Um, Ty, I think if this goes to the cards, Conlon will win, and that's without even watching the fight. Um, Al, no chance. And Gail, as always, um, having a laugh, puts a smile on your face. Um, as I say, head over to her channel. Um, yeah, she's doing some great stuff over there. The Conlon was rocked, but it sounded like they were getting excited for no reason, saying he was clinging on for dear life and stuff. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Um, but now we're in round 12 here. So it's all on the line. The two of them are really pushing here. connor has gone back behind the jab. Um, good body shot there. Good left overhand. Conlon's really starting. He knows how close this fight is. The Heaney knows how close this fight is. They've both got to bring it in round 12. Gives the judges something to remember in that final round. Um, Conlon controlling centre of the ring again. Good shot to the body there. They're keeping this up as best they can. Um, spot on Lingardinio. Joe is a proper gen, as well as knowledge fight fan. Best in the business. Oh, thank you very much, Ty. Much appreciated. Um, Lingardinio, I'm looking forward for Canelo, however. I think he has a point to prove and surprise the fans. Right, it depends who he gets next, really. It's always an interesting one with Canelo. He's, personally, he's the full package, isn't he? He, he can box, he can brawl, he can... He can do it all. You know, he can outbox a boxer in like Callum Smith and Billy Joe. That's that's the mad thing. So, yeah, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, people. Let's see how we go. As I say, one minute 20 left on my telly. Um, even though Fight TV really hasn't liked me this evening, um, Lingardinio is scary. He's very scary. By the way, Joel, I hope you have not fallen over in the rain running to your front door again. There was no need for that. There was no need for that at all. Your friends are supposed to pick you up, not laugh at you while you're laying sopping on the floor. Have you watched any YouTube fights, KSI or Jake Paul? Um, I haven't. I don't think I've done any live watch alongs on them. Um, I've done some prediction shows on them, but I'll be doing the prediction show for the for the next Jake Paul and probably the live watch along for that because there's some um, interesting fights on the card, should we say? Um, Do you have an opinion on who is the GOAT of boxing? That's a tough call. That's a really tough call. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, people, who you think uh, the GOAT of boxing is. Um, yeah, who's your greatest of all time? Wow, what a finish to this fight. The two of them. Hugging at the end. Massive respect. Massive respect to both fighters. Um, he's picked him up. And uh, I think, you know, Conlon, it looks like, are they going to give it to him? I've literally got this. I reckon Conlon has nicked it due to the knockdown. Um, but other than that, it's very, very close. Um, love you really, mate. <laughs> yeah, all right, Ryan. Um, what happened? It's, it's mad flurries at the end there. Really mad flurries. The two of them 
I think they even had a few punches after the bell, but Conlon, really good in the exchange at the end there, just went for it. Um, Dehaney didn't land too much in that last round. Conlon showed more of the flashes of brilliance that he can have. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where we're going. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Enjoying this coverage. Uh, true Geordie, eat your heart out. Blimey, that's a compliment. Um, any predictions in the Olympics? I haven't done any prediction shows for the Olympics, but I've just been doing live watch-alongs and probably doing one tomorrow morning. Um, all going well that I get up. Um, Lingardini, in my opinion, Manny Pacquiao. I love Manny. I think he's quality. Absolutely quality. Um, yeah, obviously got his big fight coming up against Errol Spence Jr. Al uh, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, two quality, quality fighters. Um, but yeah, Conlon up on the ropes. Cheering the fans. The fans are loving it. Brilliant fight. Common will take it. Bear with me. They're coming to the centre of the ring. They've all cheered the fans. Yeah, brilliant. Um, just going to find out now, so bear with me a second. I'm just going to turn the sound off and then I'll be back. So there we go. Michael Conlon has won on the cards. And uh, yeah, I think someone went as wide as, was it 116109? That, that is wide. I thought it was a lot closer than that. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, cheers, great commentary. No, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. If you're tuning in for the first time, make sure you go over to JG's Fight Talk on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, chuck a like on the video. As I say, we've got other live watch-alongs over this weekend. <clears throat> um, and, yeah, we've got our prediction shows that come out on a weekly basis. Also, interviews with some, of the, some, some great boxers coming through, but also some well-established people that you already know so tune in check out the channel it's really good thank you first time i've watched you live watch along enjoyed that keep up the good work mate thank you very much robert much appreciated who won as i say michael Conlon won um on the cards one of the cards was far out for me i have to say uh the suspense is killing me yeah sorry ty um great by carl scorecards a bit wider than I expected. Yeah, I thought they were a lot closer than that, to be perfectly honest, but hey, I, I think they gave it to the right person, to be honest. Um, Carla's put, I won. <laughs> That's an interesting one, Carl. Um, out. Cheers, Joel. No worries. Daniel, first time watching today. Won't be last. Cheers for the coverage. Now, thank you very much, Daniel. As I say, head over to YouTube and make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's, it's all good. Um, JJ, cheers, mate. All the best. Good commentary. No rest for the wicked, eh, Joel? Oh, once you start, you can never stop. As um, a lot of people said to me when you look at starting a YouTube channel, once you get into it, the ball just keeps rolling and you've got to keep chasing it. So it's all good. I think I should have Ali Drew's job. 
Why not? Why not? Just as good. Just as good. Um, thank you, GG. JG, I wasn't watching the fight yet. Uh, it made it good. I'll try, mate. I'll try. Uh, thanks for covering Charlo versus Castano also. Oh, no problem at all. I really enjoyed that fight. Charlo, though. Interesting one. See you tomorrow night. Yeah, see you tomorrow night, Al. Thanks for tuning in, as always, mate. Quality to have you on. Have a good weekend. Thanks again. Cheers. Thanks, Carl. Really appreciate it. Um, as I say, if you joined for the first time, head over to JG's Fight Talk. Hit the subscribe button. Check out the rest of the content. I'll be here for a live watch along, uh, possibly in the morning, for um, Galau Yafai in the going for gold tomorrow morning. So let's hope he gets the job done. That'd be great. Welcome to our world, Joel. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. Enjoyed. No worries at all. Cheers again, mate. All the best. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. And as I say, uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have some of this. Are you ready?